guys, welcome to Emory Lane. We're doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be showing you four messy buns that you have to try that don't require bobby pins. I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm always using my bobby pins, especially when I need them the most. And I'll just like have one and I'm like, where did the thousand that I bought go? Also, the little tiny bit of sports that I played in junior high and high school, they really encouraged you not to wear bobby pins. So if for whatever reason you need a messy bun without bobby pins, hopefully one of these can help you. Oh, and these work on medium hair too. You might just have to like mess around with it a little bit. So just a little tip to kind of help your messy bun stay in place, especially if you have layers or shorter hair, is use a texturizing spray or a really textured dry shampoo before you do your bun and it'll help your hair like cling together and stuff. This is the SGX NYC. I like this one because it's a like clean dry shampoo, but it's also really texturized. Uh, and it's really, really good for when you're pulling your hair out. Enough chit chat, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm starting out with a high ponytail. You don't need to necessarily start with a ponytail, but it helps. So for the first one, I'm gonna make a little like mushroom, like that. You're basically just spreading it out to make kind of like a donut shape. Grab another ponytail and tie it around it. I'm gonna pull at it until it gets to about half the size that I would want my bun. Then I'm gonna part the curtains. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take sections about that big and start to tuck them in to the ponytail. You can see I just lifted up the ponytail that I used to make this part of the bun and tucked it in, depending on how long your hair is, depending on how many times you'll have to tuck in a section. But I'm not too careful about it. I kind of just shove them in there. Like I said, I'm not super careful with it. Sometimes I pull the strand through all the way. Sometimes I just pull them through halfway and it makes it like a, a different shape of a loop. And this bun is not going anywhere. The, the fact that you're just literally shoving everything in there and making it super crowded makes it just super secure. And if you want to, you can have some pieces sticking out and make, have it be like a little bit more messy. Or um, you can be a little bit more careful and tuck in every single piece and just have like a really loopy or messy bun. I like to have a couple of little pieces sticking out so I don't have to worry about it being perfect. That's it. Okay the next one is like a knotted one. So basically what you're gonna do is divide your hair in half and then just knot it. Just how like you start to tie a shoe and it's gonna either want to go in the back or in the front Just let it do whatever if it goes in the front I just kind of bring it around to the back and I will knot it in the back and then I'll bring it around to the front again Depending on how long your hair is just depending on how this is exactly gonna turn out, but I just knot it over and over again, and then I'm gonna take another ponytail and wrap it around and then you can kind of pull at it if you have any funny hairs like this these feather hairs come out you can just tuck them into whichever ponytail you have you could find first and it's not going anywhere it's here to stay okay so this one's a twisted messy bun you're gonna divide your hair in half and you can either just twist it, um, or you can do a rope braid, which is basically where you twist the sections one way individually, and then you twist them together the opposite way. The rope braid will stay in a little bit better, but it's definitely not necessary. Refrain from stretching out a braid, if that's what you normally do, until the end. So, and then you just wrap it around itself, and then wherever your braid lands, you're just going to tuck it into the ponytail. And so for this one, you're gonna to wanna to start with a ponytail for sure. Then you're going to want to stretch it out gently at first, because it's definitely not super secure. Then take another ponytail and wrap it around so we can get a little bit more security. And then you can stretch it out a lot more because it's a lot uh, more secure and tight. There you go, that's it. Okay, this one I'm starting off without just a ponytail as a base. And I am going to put my hair in a ponytail. Then on the last time through, I'm only gonna pull, oh, uh, pull it through some. 
If you have like normal length hair, not extra long, you can pull it about halfway through and that'll work. I don't though. I'm just gonna pull it to be about this big, kind of adjust it to make it so it's facing more to the front. So once I'm to this point, I'm going to wrap my ends around as much as they go. If you have little tiny baby ends, all you have to do is basically tuck them in. But since my ends are a little bit longer, I'm gonna wrap it around, then tuck it into the ponytail. So I'm just going to take a ponytail, kind of like, shove everything in it basically and wrap it around and then you get this if you have any wonky pieces you can just tuck them in because my hair is long it looks kind of bigger I know if your hair is not quite as long as mine you won't get one this big unless you pull it out a lot if you want to see a two-in-one sports workout hair tutorial you can click right here I love you guys so much and don't ever forget that you are enough bye I got hair in my mouth Ugh, lip gloss.